self-esteem just takes a huge beating. It does. They are a deserving group. Um, it isn't just a cosmetic procedure, it's a functional procedure. Nine years since giving birth, Perth mum Ruth Uni has never been the same. Lower back pain, I'm constantly living with that. Um, I have bladder issues, I'm living with that. Um, and plus the whole self-esteem thing. After three caesareans, Ruth requires routine surgery to fix common post-pregnancy problems. My core strength, my core muscles that are weak and they are uh, more than five centimetres apart. As part of her recovery, Ruth needs an abdominoplasty, basically a tummy tuck. On the 17th of May, I get a call from the doctor's surgeon's office saying, Medicare has changed the criteria. You can still go ahead with the surgery, but you will not be covered. Under new Medicare rebate rules, Ruth's surgery is now considered cosmetic and she's facing a $20,000 bill. Professionals like surgeons have deemed this as a medical procedure. They are calling it cosmetic. I would suggest that the criteria be reviewed again and effectively include ladies that have had children. AMAWA Vice President Mark Duncan-Smith says the review was raised after an increase of mummy makeovers. Which led to ladies who'd had children and got weakness in the muscle then effectively being precluded from having that item number to be able to use. Medicare coverage of any plastic surgery procedure has always revolved around whether it is considered essential for quality of life. Ruth says for her it is. A lady who'd had children, had a split in the muscle, had those symptoms of, of a weak bladder, uh, chronic back pain, perhaps hygiene problems related to overhang of the loose skin, well that would be seen as more functional or, or reconstructive and, and not cosmetic surgery. A plastic surgeon, Mark, sees many women in Ruth's situation. It's not just skin and, and subcutaneous fat. Uh, probably the biggest part of the procedure is actually the tightening of the abdominal layer, the repair of the actual split in the muscle. The problem is the criteria is based on people who are overweight, which Ruth isn't. Ladies who've had children have been precluded from the utilisation of this item number, and yet the item number is still there for people who have had massive weight loss. To be eligible, people like Ruth will need to drop their body mass index by five points. That's the equivalent of 10 to 15 kilos. Then keep the weight off for six months, plus show that the excess skin around the tummy area affects their daily life. If I lose five BMI points, I'll be underweight. In a statement from the Federal Department of Health... The Medical Services Advisory Committee amended the item on January 1st this year and did not support funding abdominoplasty procedures, finding that the benefits following pregnancy were largely cosmetic and the gap between the abdominal muscles had no significant health consequences. I don't think any of this is cosmetic for me. None of these are cosmetic. And if Medicare won't cover an item number or procedure, then private health funds won't either. We pay $250 to $280 per month for um, Private insurance, they won't cover it either, so who do we turn to? For Ruth, it's a cruel blow, and she fears she won't be the only one left with nowhere to turn. What's happening out there is just so unfair, and to come out and fight against this and raise the awareness, I'm sure there are heaps of women out there.